Hello guys, welcome back. I look a bit different today, right? It's been a while since I did such a cool, grungy makeup look, something a bit more experimental and bright and unusual for me, but it's definitely about time I did something that isn't just a bronze eye. So today we are reviewing the new Urban Decay and Prince collection. Thought it'd be just quite a fun one to have a look at. I wanted to review the products myself and thought why not do this on camera. So hopefully you enjoy it. This is what I end up with. I actually really love it. I think I did quite a cool little job of this. Nice gold and purple halo eye. So I'm going to review some of the products, give you my thoughts at the very end as to what I like the most, what I didn't like. And yeah, I'm just going to run through this whole makeup look. Okay, let's get right into this. This is the Urban Decay Prince Vault in this big shiny black packaging. Outer sleeve. Whoop. Oh, cute. On here is written lots of different um, song titles from Prince. I just realised that actually. Really, really nice. And then this opens out into a vault of products with Prince's eyes either side. So we've got two eyeshadow palettes, two thick Kajal pencils, a powder, powder brush, and also this kind of illuminating face and decolletage glowy cream. I've already swatched that actually. And I must admit, I wasn't overly sure what I would use that for, but I'm gonna give it a go and see what it's like. I think on kind of reflecting on this palette straight away without even using it yet, I would say this is very much aimed at the avid Prince fan, Prince collectors, people who adore his music and just really want to buy into something that his team have licensed. But equally, I think the very fun and far out Urban Decay kind of consumer, someone who loves colour, someone who loves fun, um, makeup, something they can really play with, lots of different colours and metallics and shimmers and that sort of thing that Urban Decay is renowned for. So I think the avid Urban Decay fans as well as the avid Prince fans would love this. For someone like me who's very into kind of very natural makeup, I stick to my usual colour schemes and I usually go very colourful when I'm going for an occasion or I'm really in the mood for it. On kind of on reflection, this probably isn't, I'm probably not the main customer for this, but that's why I thought it would be super interesting to try it. So if you two are thinking that wouldn't be for me, who knows? You might like this after I've tried it. So let's give this a whirl. I've already prepped my face. As you can tell, I'm very glowy because I haven't yet powdered. So I thought that would be the perfect time to use this powder. So let's just dive right in. First product. This is the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. Um, I don't know if this comes in a particular shade or not. It just looks very cool toned. I'm not sure if there are varying tones for different skin tones, but potentially we'll see about to use my powder brush then, what am I doing? Has the Urban Decay Prince logo just on here. This is like a flat top stippling brush. I would say this was more for this, actually. So, on reflection, I'm gonna actually keep these two used together instead. That, for me, wouldn't work for powder, so I'm just gonna use my usual powder brush. Let's see how we do. Right. The eyes. I must admit, I am quite a fan of the Urban Decay powders. They are really, really great. So I imagine this is very much their usual sort of product. I mean, this is setting really nicely, actually. It's not taking away too much glow. Right, my face still looks radiant, but it's not got that glow that it did have a few minutes ago. Doesn't necessarily have a colour to it as much as it's just taken away shine. So I actually really quite like that. It looks really good. Taking it, like I said, taking away that glow without mattifying it, which I really, really like. I don't like powders that really mattify my face. First product, winner. Really like that. Really like it. Shall we try, before I get into the palette, shall I try this? This is the Liquid Face and Decolletage Illuminizer. I mean, I could have technically use this underneath my makeup to start with. Again, I don't know if this comes in various shades. I can't see like a shade name on here. So I imagine it might just be the one, but looks like a very light tint. It's kind of like a glowy tinted thing. Great for my skin tone. Let me 
try here to add a little bit to my cheeks. See what happens. I mean, this would look great underneath. My foundation could look great. And to be fair, that's catching the light really nice. Can you see that? It's kind of adding that glow that I had before back, kind of back in. Although also slightly taking off my bronzer. Probably doing it first would have been a good idea. What do we think guys? I kind of, I kind of like it. I, I, I prefer natural, more natural highlighters that don't look like you've got a big beaming sun coming out of your face. Something that's very everyday. So actually, I kind of, kind of like that. You know, it's not too much, but it's like a really subtle glow onto the cheek. Do you know what? I, I swatched that earlier and was like, mm, don't know how I feel about that. But actually now, quite like it. Really quite like it. Let's try it on the brush and I'll work it down my, work it down my decolletage a little. See how that goes. It does have a bit of a body makeup feel to it, actually. It's not crazy, but it's, it's really quite nice. It's not over the top. Much more natural for kind of everyday wear or for someone who doesn't want to be so super duper glowy and, you know, night out vibes, but still wants to have a radiant glow. I'm really impressed, actually, with that. This and this so far, really great. Now then, let's get into the palette, shall we? I'm not even showing you the shades yet. First palette, we have eyeshadow palette. Can't see a name. But we have the black one and we have the purple one. Black has a range of golds, some kind of purple indigos in there. A tealy blue, a dark blue. Quite a nice little range, to be honest. And then the purple one is much more kind of pastels. Pastels, baby blue, there's more of a cherry <laughs> raspberry beret here. Very cute. Although I must admit, I was kind of expecting one of these purples to be called Purple Rain and it's not. Which is a shame. But still, yeah, a nice mixture of shimmers and metallics um, and then some more mattes. In fact, no, there's one, two mattes, three mattes in there, I think. The rest are quite shimmery and some of them are metallics. So those are the two palettes side by side. Both very, very different for different occasions, to be honest. And I'd love to do a few different eye looks, but in honesty, I'm just going to do the one eye look today and use this. I want to use this in a way that I normally would. Say that if I was going to an event or to something where I wanted to be a bit more colourful, I just want to see how these would work in actual like practice every day. So I'm going to go for this black palette because this is much more me. I'm really quite excited about this actually. Let's try something new. Let's do it. This beigey tan shade. Let's just go straight into the crease. Let's just do this the way I normally would. It's a really nice cool tone actually to this. I mean, they blend beautifully, like that is blended so lovely. I mean, I don't really expect anything less from Urban Decay, like you never, you're never gonna get a bad eyeshadow from Urban Decay, let's be honest, they are the queen of eyeshadows. <sighs> I'm just deciding the kind of eye I wanna do. Do I go gold with red, or do I go a bit of purple with gold? First thing I know is I really wanna go in with Crystal Ball, this one, <laughs> Crystal Ball. I'm gonna put that into the inner corner just to just see how nice it is. As an inner corner. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice. Great, so far so good. Let's try out this matte white sexy dancer. Just up here, just to give that extra blend on the very top. Yeah, I mean, it's practically just a powder to be fair. I do really want to try these golds. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Love to the Nines. 
the lovely tan shade. I'm just going to take that into this kind of inner corner here. I'm also mapping out a bit of a halo eye. Really loving this shade. It's gorgeous. It's a fantastic cool tone shade. I really, really, really like it. In honesty, I kind of want to just leave it like this because <laughs> it looks so nice. Let's try this lightest purple, Groovy Potential. Let's give you. Wow! And also, you get some, some fallout, but it's not as bad as I expected. Let's go kind of start it here. I want to create a bit of a halo and put the gold in the centre, so I'm just going to work in this either side. It's quite pretty, it's a bit deeper than I thought it would be actually, but I like it. Little bits of shimmer, cute. Okay, I mean at the moment it's looking a little muddy, I guess. I'm just going to build up a bit more colour just to see if it starts to pay off a little better. I mean, it does seem to be. I mean, I know that I could spray the brush, but I just want to see what it can do without that. Okay, that's building better. It's building better now. I'm going to go in a corner. The less I rub it in and the more I place it, the better it looks. Okay, so before I tuck the purple up onto the crease, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done it. And now I'm just trying to kind of erase my mistake. I'm literally just patting it onto the mobile lid. I'm not going as high as the crease this time because I don't think that looks as good. Keeping it just on the mobile lid. Okay, so it's kind of looking cool. It's kind of coming together. I promise. It might not look it, but it is. I'm gonna use my ring finger. I'm gonna go in with Endorphin Machine, the lightest gold. Right. Let's see this come, wow. Okay, let's see this come together. Okay, it's so really yellowy, yellowy gold. And it layers really well. Okay, and now I wanna go in with um, Get It Off. This more amber color, which is much more my bad a bit more kind of deep amber gold. I'm just gonna run that lower to the, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, wow. That is so more me. It's a warm toned orange gold. The other one is much more of a, a green gold. In fact, I might just put a bit more of this over because it looks so nice with the purple. And I think it's a little more pigmented too in the gold. I'm gonna take that on a brush and just add it. Underneath. Just gonna go back to my crease brush again. Go back to the tan. Just help to bring this together a bit more. Blend it in, and then back into the purple, and just working that along that line. Okay guys, how are we looking? Am I looking a bit crazy or are we kind of liking this? Take the tan underneath. I mean, it's so much more like grungy and kind of rock and roll than my kind of everyday, but I actually really love it. This reminds me of a video I filmed back when I first started YouTube and it was almost the same color scheme. Gold through the middle with beautiful purple on either side. And yeah, I think, it, I think it looks great. I mean, if I was a lot more precise and had a lot more attention to detail like some people had, it might be a little more perfected around the edges, but, but actually I think the way that I've done it adds more to this look, which is a lot more kind of grungy feeling. So I think overall it looks really quite cool. I quite like it. So in terms of this palette, I actually, I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. This gold is insane. I'd love to just buy this gold and this love to the nines kind of as their own like two palette with crystal ball and maybe a black and that would be such a perfect palette for me yeah like i'm definitely going to be reaching for these two again i think they are so fab in fact just let me top up that crystal ball to my to the inner corners again just in case i lost any of that 
shade. I mean, I could even go in here with the gold, but personally for me, gold never looks quite as effective on the inner corners. So I feel like that is kind of working for me right now. I'm just gonna try out these Kajals. So we've got one in black, one in white. Wowza, nice thick crayon. Same with the white, I think. Great, okay. So I'm gonna give these a go. I'm gonna go white on my lower lash line. I think that'll work quite well. Let's see how these do. Yeah, that works so well. Like, so well. That is great. I find some white eyeliners, just if your waterline is a bit wet at the time, some white pencils will not work for love nor money. Whereas that is just like, no problem. Here I go. That's awesome. That is so good. So good. Okay, I'm finding some goodies. I am finding, I am finding some seriously good products here, guys. And then for the black, I'm gonna run this along the outer edge lash line, just to get my lashes looking a bit fuller. Yeah, literally just on the very outer edge, just to enhance that outer corner, and that's all I wanna do. This doesn't feel quite as creamy as the white, but it's still nice. Yeah, it's definitely a drier finish on the black. Cool, and one last thing is just in the inner water, the upper water line, the tight line. That is cool. Honestly, those liners have completely brought this whole eye look together. You know, it's given it a bit of structure, the white has just made it pop so beautifully. I'm just gonna add some mascara and then we're good to go here. Mascara on, do you know what as well, I've noticed. There's no real fallout here under my eyes. There's a little touch of shimmer, but that is kind of about it. So that's pretty impressive actually. It's really impressive. My eyes are being a little bit annoying and the black is now falling down here. So just let me quickly counteract that with some white. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm actually done. That took a lot longer than I expected, but equal, I really enjoy playing with this. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think. It's been a very long time since I did something a little different to bronze, <laughs> to my usual bronze every day. But honestly, I'm absolutely loving it. I think it looks so cool, grungy, rock and roll. I mean, if you prefer, you can always go black on the under eye as well and make it a bit more grungy, but the products have actually wound me a lot more than I was expecting. The white Kajal liner is going right into my eyeliner collection. That is fantastic. Like, unreal how well that works. The powder too. The powder, I might have found a new favorite here. I think this is brilliant. So good. So those two are going into my collection. The palette. The palette is great. I mean, the colour payoff was amazing. It's kind of Urban Decay's legendary eyeshadow formulation, but just in some cool new shades. So if you love the shades, then you'll love it. For me, a lot of the shades I wouldn't use all the time, like the purple, this like I wouldn't do this every day. So for me, like I said, I wish I could kind of build my own little palette out of a few of these pans. But overall, if you're into colour, you're into prints and you love what Urban Decay do, then you probably love it, like love it. This, I must admit, I might stick this into my kind of body makeup area. It did work really, really well and it was a nice, subtle, natural vibe. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep using this, I must admit. The purple palette, as great as it is, honestly, it's probably not something I'm ever gonna use very much. Yeah, it's cool, just not very me at all. Overall, if I was to review this, I'd say it was a good, like, eight out of 10, maybe, in terms of how much it impressed me. Like, genuinely, I'm really impressed. I didn't think I would love these products quite as much. So let me know what you think, if I did a good enough job, and what you thought of the collection overall. I'll leave it all linked down below if you wanna find out some more info. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this, and now I have a fantastic face of makeup for my whole day. So thanks so much for being here, guys. If you are brand new, please make sure to press subscribe before you leave, and you never see my face again. It would be great to have you. Thank you all so much for being here and for watching my new makeup series. I am very, very much enjoying it, so I hope you are too. And I'll see you soon. Bye.